Summer Wells was born on February the 4th, 2016 and lived in Hawkins County in the state of Tennessee with her parents, her grandmother and her three older brothers. Summer was described as a little girl who loved the outdoors and her favourite pastime was spending time on her swing that hung from a tree just outside her house. Little Summer enjoyed having fun with her family, playing with her toys, and hanging out with the numerous cats and dogs that lived at home with her. On June the 15th, 2021, two years ago exactly today, Summer left home with her mother and grandmother for a day of running errands and fun, swimming at a local park. They returned around 3 p.m. and after sorting and tidying away the shopping, Summer went downstairs to her bedroom to play. That was the last time she was ever seen. Summer, quite simply, vanished. At approximately 6.30 p.m. on June the 15th, 2021, Summer Wells was reported missing from her home in the Beach Creek community of Hawkins County. After receiving the 911 call, law enforcement sped quickly to the area and a search rapidly commenced. More than 120 teams, including members of the Hawkins County Sheriff's Office, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation and Churchill Rescue Squad searched a wide area surrounding her home for a full 13 days. Very quickly, an Amber Alert was issued for Summer Wells and the next day there was a press conference. At that press conference we were told that this little girl was five years old, had short blonde hair blue eyes and was approximately three feet tall. The estimate of her weight at the time of her disappearance was thought to be around 40 pounds. When Little Summer went missing, she was wearing grey pants, that's trousers to us Brits, a pink shirt and was possibly barefoot. After two years, it's very hard to know exactly what Summer looks like now. But she is now seven years old and from the photos that you have seen I hope that it gives you some idea of the child that we're looking for. Because there is no evidence of what happened to Summer, there obviously are a number of options. One being that she is still with us, living somewhere else, possibly living in another state or even another country. So by keeping her face out there, letting as many people as possible see this little child, there is a chance one day she may well come home to her family and friends. That is the purpose of this part of this video and to ask everyone to keep a lookout for this beautiful young girl. As a way to remember Summer Wells and the day her family and those who knew her saw her last, I wanted to do something positive for her. Now I live in Wales in the United Kingdom and it seems appropriate to take some time on this day to share information about a child in my country that went missing. So I'd like to spend the last few minutes of this video telling you about a boy called Robert Williams. Robert Williams lived in a village called Resolven which is about 15 miles northeast of Swansea in South Wales. At the time of his disappearance, Robert was living at home with his mother and his brother, Carl, in a cul-de-sac in Resolven. Resolven has a population of around 3,000 people and they speak Welsh and English. As with a lot of Welsh villages and towns, Resolven got its name from the railway station that was introduced to the area in the 1800s. Right up until the 1980s, Resolven, like many Welsh communities, relied on the mining of coal to provide jobs and to bring wealth to the area. 
These days, Resolven is made up of traditional workmen's cottages built in the 1800s and council housing that was introduced after the Second World War. Resolven is surrounded by waterways, rivers and the Melling Court waterfall is the closest waterfall to that area. The community in 2002 in Resolven isn't likely to be that dissimilar to the community that there is there today. Now, to all of us, 2002 is a very long time ago, so it might be worth me just triggering some memories by reminding you of a few facts around that time that were happening in the UK, but also generally internationally. Tony Blair and W.H. Bush were both leaders of their respective countries. Early on in the year, there were the Winter Olympics in Salt Lake City in Utah. And later that same year, the FIFA Soccer World Cup was hosted in Japan. When it comes to music, some of the favourites out there at the time were Pink, Eminem and, of course, Westlife, who were, at that point, in March 2002, top of the charts in the UK. And let's not forget that Will Young won Pop Idol that year, and it was in all the papers. In 2002, there were a number of key true crime stories that happened, firstly being Elizabeth Smart, who went missing from Utah, and sadly, the day before Robert went missing, Millie Dowler disappeared from her home in Surrey, with her body sadly being discovered six months later. And later that year, best friends Holly Wells and Jessica Chapman went missing near their home in Soham in the county of Cambridgeshire, which is in England. Princess Margaret and Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, both passed away in this year. And Queen Elizabeth II celebrated her Golden Jubilee in the summer. So now that I've set the stage for exactly the time and location of when and where Robert went missing, it's time to talk about Robert himself. At the time of his disappearance, Robert was described as generally a happy child, although he did have times of sadness and he was going through the normal conflict that every teenager goes through as they start to grow, become adults and define themselves as their own individuals. Sadly, on the day of his disappearance, he had had a row with his mother, but when he left, he still said goodbye in the normal way and she had no reason to think he wouldn't return. Robert's mother, Cheryl Davies, said on BBC Crime Watch, He was a character. He always made you laugh. He loved his sport. He was never without a ball, a rugby ball or a football. He just loved everything about it. And whilst doing the research for this video, I did discover that he also enjoyed fishing and spent a lot of time by the rivers that surrounded his home in the Neath Valley. When Robert didn't return home that night, on the 22nd of March, his mother called 999, reported him missing, and an investigation began. It is understood that he actually was seen again in a place called Aberdeleis in South Wales, just about eight miles away from Resolven, by an old school friend of his. They met up, had a chat, and from what we know, when he left, he said he was intending to return home to his mother, but he never did. Aberdeleis and Resolver are about eight miles apart, and that's quite a fast route on the A465, so he could have hitched a ride to and from his friend's house, or it's more likely he took the bus, or he could even have taken the canal walk, which would have probably taken him a little over an hour to do. Despite extensive inquiries and numerous appeals for information over the past 20 years, officers have been unable to find him. And numerous sightings of Robert were reported into the police, but none of them actually came to anything. And since he visited his friend that weekend, there simply has been no evidence of him anywhere. Sadly, in 2011, after extensive searching for proof of life, bearing in mind that Robert then was in his 20s, the police came to the conclusion that Robert, unfortunately, was probably no longer with us. On an interview on Crime Watch Live on the BBC a few years ago, Cheryl, Robert's mother, said, 
I have never had the answers I have needed and all I want is to know where Robert is so I can bring him home and lay him to rest and finally grieve properly. I know someone knows what happened to Robert. You may have been young at the time and not know what to do or been scared of repercussions from others who knew but time has passed and putting Robert to rest and telling someone what you know would be an end of carrying the burden yourself and the end of the suffering for my family. Cheryl went on to say, You may have children of your own and I have some understanding as a parent what I am still going through. I need to know where Robert is. I do not want to be a mother who never finds out what happened to her son. Whilst reviewing the stories of these two missing children, it's made me aware of the obvious similarities between these two cases. However, it is worth noting that there are some fundamental differences too. The first being the fact that Summer has only been missing two years and not 21 like Robert. But there is also the fact that Summer is still only seven years old. And right now, at her age, it's actually quite easy to fly below the radar when it comes to tracking of information, of names, addresses, fingerprints and DNA. So in my opinion, the method that was used to decide proof of life with Robert isn't relevant because Summer is still just a child and officially she's quite easy to hide. Regarding Robert and the fact that there has been no proof of life since he went missing, there is still a chance he's out there under another identity. So I'm still hopeful that he could come home. But fundamentally, the family just simply want to know what happened to him and to allow him to be reunited with his family, whether he walks this earth now or not. If you know anything about either the disappearance of Summer or Robert, please get in touch with the authorities. I've listed various ways you can pass on information in both these cases and a much fuller list is available in the description. Thank you for watching and please share this video far and wide and to creators please feel free to use this in any way you wish. This video is owned in my mind by the two missing children that I've covered and uh, that is Summer Wells and Robert Williams. Anyway thank you again for watching and if you are into true crime I'm sure I'll see you again in a chat on a channel somewhere.